So in intrinsic material, the electron hole pairs are generated thermally. There is not a convenient method, that is thermal generation is not a convenient method to change conductivity of semiconductors. So conductivity, so conductivity can be changed by various methods. We have discussed in one of the previous lectures and we have said that temperature is one method where electron hole pairs can be generated and the conductivity can be increased. Another way we have already discussed is doping. Doping means we are adding an impurity to the semiconductor material. Let's say silicon. For example, we will take silicon. So doping is the process of adding impurity. Now such a semiconductor, that means a doped semiconductor, we call it as extrinsic semiconductor. So we have added impurity to increase the conductivity or control the conductivity of semiconductor material. Now the impurities we add determines what type of extrinsic semiconductor we generate. That means if we add donor impurity, we'll discuss about what is a donor. If we add donor impurity, that is impurities that can donate an electron, we will get an n-type semiconductor. And if we add acceptor impurity, we will get p-type semiconductor. Donors means those impurities which can donate an electron to the crystal and acceptor can accept an electron and thereby create a hole. Okay. So, so far we have said that in intrinsic the carrier concentration or the electron hole pair concentration is controlled by temperature. Okay. Thermally generated electron hole pairs. In addition to that we can dope that means deliberately add impurity to the system, controlled amount of impurity to the system. So such a doped semiconductor we call it as extrinsic semiconductor. So if you add donor impurity, that means impurity that can donate an electron, we will get an n-type semiconductor. And if you add an acceptor impurity, which can accept an electron and create a hole, we will get a p-type semiconductor.